So today I'd like to show you some plugins from Blue Cat Audio. They make some awesome stuff. One is called Patchwork, one is called MB7. And I'm gonna quickly go over each one and just show you what they are and why I use them. So for the one that's up right now, it's called Blue Cat Patchwork. And what I use it for is mainly this mix knob here. So say I have a plugin that I want to kind of use in parallel and have a dry wet option with some plugins have these days, some plugins don't. So when a plugin doesn't, and I want to use it like that without adding a bus, I, st I just simply load it into this plugin, which you can load AU and VSTs, either pre, parallel, or post. You can also add as pretty much a ton, as many rows as you want, it looks like. And it's pretty awesome how you can customize that. And you could even make crazy plugin chains with like, I don't know why you would, but you could use like 20 plugins and have it saved as like a preset um, and then pull it up anytime. So it's kind of cool for like recall. And um, I'm not sure how to use it. It's really simple. So you just double click here. You're gonna, if you want to load VST, load AU, which is great for Pro Tools because you can't, you know, if there's certain plugins that don't, they don't make AU and VST, that's one reason to use it in Pro Tools. But in any DAW, you can use it for VST and AU. Make plugin chains use it, and use the mix knob, which is cool. So let's load up something. So I'm gonna load up Sausage Fattener because it's awesome and there's no Pro Tools AAX version. So let's pull it up. It's basically like a tape saturation, multiband slash distortion type thing with some heavy limiting, which is kind of cool on some synths. And I know a lot of EDM guys use this, but it's a fun little thing and it does some funny stuff when you turn knobs. Like, look at that. That just, doesn't that just kind of cheer you up? Anyway, so let's check it out. So we have it on now. We want to, and you want to make sure the power button is on for each one, which I like that they have that because that way I can quickly kind of audition different plug-in chains or sets. Um, and of course you have your pre-input, you have your post output gain, and also on each, for each plugin, you have that pre-gain and output gain, post gain, as they call it. You have a solo phase knob and it's, it's really straight to the point and pretty forward and easy to use. And I like it. So I have a bass here. Let's see what it sounds like without anything on there. So I actually like how that sits in the track. Obviously you're just hearing this solo because I can't play the whole track right now. Now the next thing you have to do is actually make sure to turn on the power knob, which pops in the plugin. So the plugin will be active. Otherwise it'll just be the dry sound. So let's put the mix knob all the way up. So it's hundred percent this plugin. It's, it's getting the entire sound. It's not parallel. It's exactly that sound. Cool, so I took it a bit to the extreme so that we can test out the mix knob because I'll, I'll probably just want to mix it in like, I don't know, 10% or 15%, something kind of low. And now let's hear it now with the mix knob. And now let's turn the mix knob all the way off so it'll be totally dry. And now totally wet. So not only is Blue Cat's patchwork handy for doing like parallel chains and having a wet dry knob, which is the mix knob. It's also great for if you're in Pro Tools for loading in plugins that might not be made for Pro Tools. But in, in any other DAW, it's great for like loading up chains and then saving it presets. You could have like a bunch of cool stuff. Um, but a lot of other softwares do allow you to save preset chains. So if your DAW is one of those, you could you could ignore that part, but it's still nice to have it all in one little clean interface. Or if you're running out of inserts. So I use it mainly for the mix knob, so something quite simple. And I'd like to note that on this, for Blue Cat Patrick, there's two versions. There's one that's for like audio plugins, and then there's one for actual instrument tracks, which looks the same as this. The only difference is you load instruments into it, like MIDI instruments, which is this guy. Let me just pull it up. And, um, you know, it, it works the same exact way. Pull up your instruments, you, you know, select AUVST, go in there, find whatever instrument you want, load it up, and you're good to go. And you can load up multiple synths at once to get a really nice fat sound if your DAW doesn't support like track stacks like Logic does. And it's really cool. I also would like to cover one other plugin they make really quick. So they make something called an MB7 mixer. Now I'm sure you guys all might be familiar with the term multiband compression. So this is just multiband period. It's a mixer that's multiband. So you can put in any plugin you want and have that be on one band. And it works the same as the other one. You hit the plus mark, you could have whatever bands you want. And then each band has its own fader with, you know, EQ. 
But I could also load an EQ just on that band or a compress or a distortion or a compression or a reverb or a delay or taste effects just on one band. So it's really cool. And you have a pan just for that band. You have overall level. Again, it's really simple. You know, you select your frequencies. You want each band to be between and from the slope. And, you know, let's say I want just like a, a cool, a cool like distortion just on a top end. So I would, I would click a top end once. I would set where I want the band to start and end. And then I would click the plugins. Let's load VST. You know, load up whatever distortion or, you know, bass amp. You know, say you just wanted to be on the top end. And then you could just mix in how you wanted. And, you know, I do wish sometimes that they had a mix knob on this plugin as well. But it's like a totally different animal. And it's like, it's essentially like having a multiband for any plugin, even ones that aren't multiband. Like there are some multibands out there for limiting or distortions and other, other things. But with this, you could pretty much create it for any type of plugin you have. So something cool to have. And I figured I just, I might as well run it over and show you guys real quick, kind of tag on to the other tutorial, um, showing off the Blue Cat stuff while I'm on their company stuff. Anyway, check them out. I'll definitely link them in the description and thanks for watching.